So I've been working with a client recently and this is for a whiskey bottle. You can see that we're working on a box and a bottle, but this is for the label that's going on the little bottle that's gonna have the liquid in it. So you can see here, I've got the file and the sizing and all the text is editable. So what I want to do, I don't wanna outline anything, I'll just leave it like that. You can click on the top left and click file. You wanna go down to export and click export as. Once you do that, you wanna make sure that you select the file type and make it Photoshop, which is the PSD file, okay? So once you do that, you just wanna, you know, call your, um, your label, and I'm gonna save it to the, I'll just save it to the desktop, and I'm gonna save it and click export. Once you do that, it will pop up with a option box. For me, this label is gonna be printed on an actual physical bottle, so I want to make sure that it's CMYK. And you want to go down to the options down below, and you don't want to click flat image. This will flatten everything so you can't edit it, but I want it to be editable. If it's for print, I want to make sure the resolution is 300 ppi, which is really cool. And then I want to preserve the text editability and click maximize uh, editability as well. You can leave the anti-aliasing on type optimized, that's totally fine. And then you can turn the embed off or on depending on you know, where you're getting it printed or not. So I can just leave that on for now. Once you've done that, you're gonna press OK. So once you have the file, I'm gonna double click and open it. And now you can see I'm in Photoshop, right? And you can see the color mode is set to CMYK. But I wanna go to my layers panel on the right hand side and I'm gonna open up the folder. Once you open that up, you can see now I've got all these layers, right? Because we saved it as editable, it's created all these layers. So I can double click so if I press T for the type tool and double click, you can see I can actually edit this text. Right, I can edit this, I can double, I can select, I can press enter and select the other text as well. So if I wanna edit this, I can edit that. I'm just gonna press control Z. So you can see all the, t all the layers at a type um, are editable and then the shape layer you can see, it's turned all the strokes, which are just shapes into um, a layer on its own, right? And obviously we can right click, convert this to a smart object, um, you know, and then I can press control T, I can move it, I can scale it if I want, um, which is really cool. One thing to notice though, when you do this method, if, if a text is very small, you can see um, this line, it didn't turn it into text. And that's because it couldn't read this small text here, it just read it as shapes. So it didn't um, turn it into a type layer, it turned it into a raster layer, right? So that can be an issue, but the thing, the way around that is to go back to Illustrator. So if I show you the size, you can see it's 8.5 and this text is like 5.8. So I would pretty much make all the text bigger um, and then bring it into Photoshop if you need to edit it. For me, um, if your client typically asks for a Photoshop, then I'll do this method, but I wanna try and keep everything in Illustrator. So that's a quick tip, trying to keep everything in Illustrator or um, InDesign if it's packaging um, because Photoshop is obviously a raster program and there'll be some issues there. So just a quick tip on how to export from Illustrator into Photoshop. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing design content every week.